today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Man, what? <laughs> no way, bro. And a signal there for the Who fair said catch. That? So this opening drive will begin at the 25 yard line. Uh. Oh no. No, bro, I don't think I, I don't think I've seen him yet. I'm glad I'm gonna him off. They'll run oh, with no. Walker to begin the drive. Oh, no. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a game 13, a very solid opening. It was too clean. <laughs> week, despite him not running the ball well, they I see, I already knew. Like that and they talked to us about leaning on him. I've because, seen it. Like they didn't have to. Still got his boy right now. It's a gain of 16. First down, Tampa Bay. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, mm -hmm. the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. On first down, Connor. That's caught by Chosen. And he's got this down to the 35. Ten more there and another first down. The Bucs at a very solid 4-1 here in the early part of the year. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra time off thanks to an early season opener. And usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance, get your fresh legs back, you have to take that time and run with it. And that's what they're trying to get done here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one and another first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Ooh. And this will be incomplete. Against a team coming off a win just as your team did the previous week. You talk about being physical all game long. Sometimes being physical is just being on the spot and helping force the incompletion. Put that between you. On second down, it's Walker. Mm-hmm. They'll get him to the ground. I probably get the twenty, following a pickup of four. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they played really well in a win over the Raiders a week ago. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. To throw on third down, Connor. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to get the football here as they uh, force the INT on the game's no opening drive. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial mm -hmm. drive of the ball game. Now we know yeah, I already know. That's why I know you guys are seeing something. <laughs> <prepare for this laughs> you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. Ten. 
Young to throw it. Oh my God. And his throw is going to be incomplete. For you and I, partner, we got the crumb assignment this week. An unbeaten team against a one loss team. Really not much separating these two. Not much at all. I think for the coaches, they've looked at their team and said, guys, you got to know what you're getting into in this one. And you better be ready to go because you get to answer the big okay, question of the day. Are we as good as we think we are? We're about to find out. Ready? Running right, here's Sanders. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. You know this defense from Tampa Bay against the pass. They're hoping to trip in the opposite direction. Because right now they're ranked number 26 in the NFL. When they lack in pass defense, they do make up for in run defense. They're top 10 unit against the people trying to move the ball on the ground. But this is a passing league. So there's a conundrum for them. How do they get better defending the pass? He finds his man complete. That's Rhodes. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Now a first down throw for Young. He'll let this go for the end zone. He's Touchdown. Yo, he was on him. That's why I had him go guard him, bro. I'm like, let me see how it'll be. If I could still just buy him that virtual, even if they didn't get covered. Quarterback throws the fade, and that's one where really the receiver just has to make a play, right? Brandon, all you're asking your quarterback to do is put it up on the top shelf where the kids right. can't get it. <laughs> let your guy get it and no one else. That makes it a very, very difficult play to defend. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Develop some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Looking to throw on second down. Connor. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. On third down, Connor. Oh, and the caught by Rice. Oh, yeah. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Back to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Yeah, look at this Carolina defense. They're a top five unit right now against the pass in the league. In fact, they sit at number five. And this is what we talk game inside the game. Top five passing offense versus top five passing defense. I wouldn't be surprised defensively if they change up coverages a bit more than usual to try and combat what they expect to see. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Oh. 
They'll try for the first with Walker. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. On first and 10, Connor. Looking left sideline incomplete. <laughs> so it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Finds his receiver, Watson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 16. Back to throw. Connor flush to his right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. But no surprise to see that one, partner. The league's number one defense coming through with a huge pick six. And it's plays like that one that have made them the most feared group to face this year. Offenses, they're trying to figure out how to work around them rather than work through them. Big time impact playmakers scattered throughout the mm -hmm. unit on every mm -hmm. level, mm -hmm. and they can change a game at a moment's notice. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So they throw the pick six, they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team charge that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense. They may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now, uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Oh, he's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 42. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Again, he'll drop to throw. Another catch by White, back-to-back -back plays. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. A quick throw caught by Rice. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. to throw again throw out wide to Walker so just three yards on the completion there and that'll make it second down I know it was a game but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space I think they expect to get more out of a play don't you especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield you're expecting him to be able to create something be a little more shifty yeah no doubt about it good open field tackling held it to an okay game Thank you. 
Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. On third down, here's Walker. Oh, cool. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Operating from the gun, Connor. Oh. Intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Panthers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series. Because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him up already in this opening half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. That's a good They'll run with Sanders in the middle. Good move. And down he goes at the 45 oh, after a pickup of nine. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles oh. and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And they run the option on second down. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. <laughs> Excellent job on the keeper. 20 yards in the first half. <laughs> to throw, Young. Looking deep downfield. Oh. And it is incomplete. Oh, he's oh, oh, oh. dropped him. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Now back to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Marshall. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. First down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. We both know Ooh, yeah, that made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. A first down throw for Young. Trying to oh. improvise. You bad boy. When he got off my ass, he got the ball. He'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now Young running the option left. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Bryce Young, an 18-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half, and now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 nothing leads come and go in this league. But this one feels pretty darn secure. Right, and here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect uh, on the other side, doesn't it? Time and you're going to try to come back. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. All right. I'll go over. I'm trying to go on. That's ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. Not getting much generated offense. 
defensively, they've got to figure it out. Yeah, it's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Third and four. Looking to throw. Connor. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Panthers oh, yeah, have bro. Front, they will get the first, Bobby first, second half action Breath underway. Hall. No one back here to begin the half, and we will Hall. start <laughs> at the 25-yard line. Okay. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But <laughs> right. did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, mm -hmm. they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. First down, Young flushed out right. Oh, good decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. Ooh. Julian Love picks it, and the Bucks will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off the play fake. Connor, pressure comes, and down he goes. DJ Johnson, the one who got there for the sack. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there, but you know, maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When, does, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run, when to get rid of the football and not take the sack, when to just go ahead and go down and make sure you don't, make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. Really, this offense it. in desperate need of a conversion I as they come it. up on third down. <laughs> Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40, before it's all said and done. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now this oh. one over the middle, <laughs> the hands of his tight end complete. Play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Operating from the gun. Connor. Yeah, Mom. Be caught by Rice. So the completion good for seven there. Okay. And it'll be second down. What is Simple Being drive around here. Lined up out left and trying to make his way back yeah. across the field. You probably saw oh. me twitch there, partner, because All right. I think you wanted right, the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, the defender was right on him. Ooh. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Mm-hmm. Straight ahead, Walter. I got the fleet on during the trench of all these games. So I was like, shit, I actually hit him with him. I'm put that bitch on. I'll see it work. Back to throw. Connor. Outright caught by Chosen. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Toward the pylon caught. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Ken Walker from six yards away. And the Bucs are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. Following 
the touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Well, you most certainly don't want to be an out of here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And he's caught. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does. He's going to get clobbered. 21 yards there on third down. Oh, man, a rookie, man. Shotgun snap, and then they give to Sanders. And he finds a little bit of room, <laughs> enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Young will set to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on that one, and it's third down. Defense to its defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. On third down, they turn to Sanders. Look at the spin. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 52 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. For Marshall, that's complete. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Another big play right there, and this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got to Back now here on EA Sports. On, From down at the 12, it's first and 10. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Jonathan Mingo, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers add on to their they lead, <laughs> and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, I've heard you use the term put away drive, and that right there seemed like the hey, definition. Yo, he got more open than Will. Yeah, it certainly just pops Wingo right just like that, bro. I realized that uh, first game of the season, bro. Right, uh, just wanted to possess the football. I don't know what it is, but the nigga just go from bro. Like punch And if the drive ends in three yeah, points, that's yeah, terrific. Bro, if it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Tucker with the extra he actually got way better stats than I already know, but it's still Tucker like to kick it away conclusively to what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Now, they were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth oh. quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one ends up to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First got target, a first calls, catch, and a first down. Three I score like game here late. You can like probably rule two. out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, you know, in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory though. or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. 
He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That's complete to DK Metcalf. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. <laughs> It's a nine yard gain and it's a good one. So from Panther territory now, it's first and ten at the 46. The throw Ooh, that's the middle, and they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. First and ten at the 25 yard line. Throwing on first down, Connor. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. To throw again. Connor. Oh. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. To throw on third down. Connor. Oh, and he's play. got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Christian Watson. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Buccaneers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. That's how the ball be worked on. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff yeah. will move the ball to the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. The young keeps it moving right. Oh, where that boy come from? Boy, he's just completely off. a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. <laughs> you were a good love. Nice offense on third down today. A perfect four for four thus far. Oh, Mingle Tavern here. Four. Throwing. Young. He must He'll see some. He must see so. Oh, <laughs> <be incomplete. laughs> I had to go There's the Panthers punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. I got Mingo too, bro. <laughs> you saw it in the for bitch. He got a Billy Joe Lord. And it's yeah. taken oh in my the God, he's just a cliff out me. No. He's got to be tired. this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. On first down, Connor. And that is incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs. If you do it right, and this is it. Yeah, you see it. Oh, I'll put him right in the other back of nine. He pulls on cover. I'm going to put him right there. He's had a fantastic rookie season. The way he broke all the ball. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw. 
Because oh. for the most part, what they've seen has been pretty sensational. Between your hand, I don't need time. Down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two minute warning. The Clippers team boys the recent times. And we don't do crazy time. Ready, ready. Ultra, go ultra. Ready. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And a solid run down inside the 30. 83 yards rushing for you now to this point. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They'll go again with Sanders. No, a nifty juke there. How much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Let's go. like On first and ten, it's Sanders. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Of the old school arena twice, man. I believe I'm a media hype. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Oh my God! He clobbered him. You saw that? But first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. <laughs> Clover, dude. It's a 10 yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. I don't use no slide protection, bro. <laughs> that that man is like that. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Okay, Defensively, ready? when you got yeah, the coverage good downfield. He got nasty streak, bro. Look on my what you call it. Nasty streak, dominant impact wins against DBs and linebackers. And once you get on that second level running, bro, you clean him, bro. As we come down the stretch in the fourth. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he will take it across. Panthers touchdown. Ryan Sanders with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are closing in now on a seven straight win to start the year. Oh, no, that's a tight end, bro. That's Trumbull. I put him at a uh, fullback. <laughs> Tucker able to connect on the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch will move this out to the 25 yard line. He the Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. On first and 10, Connor. And he's going to go down. They get to it back at the 40. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Well, they're in some hot water now oh, after that sack. It's second and 21. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes, you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And Walker has it. And he is out of bounds. 
yards, but not before he's inside the 30. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. So, I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it. Like, yeah, I remember him. He had a raw from like the thing, really. Trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice game, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. Yeah. No cap. No run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. <laughs> Fully loaded. This Automatic Carolina offense 16. at the line, ready to go. And it's all but certain that this win streak is going to extend another week. Just another tremendous performance <laughs> in this one. A nice run on first down, gets him six yards to the 31. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take Already any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Yeah, this is going to be right. Panthers' first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard <laughs> line. Enough. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And maybe more importantly, a victory game, in the boy. division, we which always more. helps. And on the road, how about all of that rolled up into one? Because how often do you see division <laughs> games get decided by this much of a margin? <laughs> now, they jumped up. Now, they jumped up. In a division game, it's usually a touchdown.